this one. This one is how to have a productive day. If you guys can tell, I'm wearing the same shirt. So, you know, I'm just filming all these on the same day. It's too hot to switch clothes, put makeup on, and things so I look a hot mess. My hair is a mess. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and film these and get them put up and everything. But this one that I was going to do is how to have a productive day. The reason why I feel like having a productive day is so important as a mother and as a human, as a father, as, you know, whatever it is. Pretty much what I do to have a productive day. Granted, it's not every single day that I have a productive day, but it's okay. Because as long as you get something done, you got it done. So, what I do is when we wake up, I try to wake up earlier than the kids. The reason why I try to wake up earlier than the kids is because I can drink my coffee, take a shower, you know, whatever I got to do to get myself ready for the day when I do have a productive day and I really like especially with vlogging I will sit there and I will put that productive day into effort that way you guys can see what I do to have a really good productive day and so basically what I do is I'll get up in the morning I'll take a shower if I don't take a shower and I took a shower the night before I'll get up get dressed like I will get I will look really good Something that I can get dirty if I get bleach on it, like it's not gonna, it's not gonna be upsetting, but I will get dressed. I will look good, do my makeup, that way I feel like I'm put together. And, you know, the bed does not have to be made as soon as you wake up. I know, shocker, right? But because, like, Mason's in bed with me. That's where he sleeps. So, you know, if I'm up, I can't make the bed right away. So what I do is I will, the first three hours as a window block and you can even do like an hour two hours whatever whatever is good enough for you but in those three hours so say I'll get up at 6 6 30 7 o'clock so in that hour I will get up from that time I will take 10 15 minutes without a shower I'll get my makeup on I'll get dressed I will get the kids breakfast pulled out you know like um like bacon I'll pull it out and let it thaw out of the refrigerator just a little bit so I can cook it. And then what I'll do is I will empty out the dishwasher, put the dishes, put the dishes up, reload the dishwasher. Does it make sense? So um, from like the coffee and stuff that I drink, I'll fill it up. Then what I do from there is I will put a load of clothes in the washer, take the ones out of the dryer, and put them in a basket. I won't fold them right away, but I'll take them out and I'll take them out of the basket. Then, like, I'll wipe down the counters, I'll pick up all the dirt, you know, all the clothes, all the toys that might have got left out from where the kids didn't clean up last night. And I will let the dogs out, and sometimes, like, the kids will let the dogs out if we all get up at the same time. So, in that three-hour block, like I said, however long you think you can, you know, you want to do it and make it, do what you can. Because what that does is, if you get up, and the first thing you do is look at your phone, and you're, like emails, text messages, sitting there, blah, like, I'm just going to relax until the kids get up. What that does is it puts you in the mind span and the mental state of doing nothing all day. And that, that's like, I have days where I'm like, you know what, I'm going to clean at night. I'm not going to do anything, I'm going to clean at night. And then nighttime comes and I'm like, ugh, because I'm going to blah all day because I'm like, I didn't do anything today. There, there was nothing to get done. Like, I didn't do anything. I just sat around and did nothing. So, like I said, I like to do those first three hours of the day. In that morning, what I'll do is I'll get my cup full, like I'll get my water bottle full of water. I'll get the kids' water bottles full of water. I will pull out the kids' clothes if I didn't the night before. Then I'll wake them up and get them dressed and let them eat, the bre eat breakfast and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just, that's how I get my productive day started. Because then if I do it all in the morning, I know at night, there's not really much I have to do. Like, from the day, I'll road load up the dishwasher from all the dishes. The clothes that we all wore that day, I could just throw them in the dirty clothes. Then, like, another couple of days, I can be like, let them pile up. And then I can go wash the clothes. You see what I'm saying? It's pretty lot basic and logic, but I guess it's, like, the way I was raised. So, I mean, like, to me, it's logic. But to you guys, I'm hoping you guys get something new out of it. And something beneficial because that's why I created a YouTube channel. The reason I created a YouTube channel was so that I can share my life with me and my kids. So that I can have a memory to look back on. And I can just help somebody out there. And like I said, the reason why I do, I try to do everything in the morning. Is that a way, like, if I get up at 6, say I get up at 6. 
everything will be pretty much done between 9 and 10 o'clock. And then the rest of the day, we can play. We can, the kids can take a nap. We can, I can take a nap. I can, we can go to the park. We can go play in the pool. We can go outside, do yard work. We can go grocery shopping. We can, we can do whatever we want to do. We can relax, watch movies instead of sitting there in a dirty house like, ugh. Let's go clean. Let's go clean. And then, like, it leaves the kids to do stuff on their own. You, you know what I mean? And don't get me wrong. When the kids do wake up, the kids do have chores. Like, when Mason gets up, he's the last one out of the bed. So, I will help him make the bed because we both slept there. Aubrey, she doesn't make her bed yet. What she does is she just takes her blankets off the floor and throws them back into her pack and play. You know, it's, it's simple for her. Like, I don't expect her to fold the blankets and stuff. Aubrey does try to fold wash rags and towels and like underwear and stuff like that mason he helps unload he helps load the washer aubrey helps unload the washer um they both help load the dishwasher they help both help wipe down the cabinets and stuff granted no chemicals the bathroom we clean up in the bathroom so when there's clothes strung all over the bathroom from where they took their clothes off they put them in the basket um we clean up the tub you know like we'll take the toys and put them back in the toy box or in the the bathroom toy hamper shower curtain thing it hangs from the shower i'll show it to you guys you know like we just throughout the day we help each other as a team to keep it all cleaned up now the kids toys i will help them pick them up but nine times out of ten it is their responsibility to pick it up that's just that if it's not picked up it goes in a box that they don't see for a while or we just get rid of them because i mean like i know they're little but they need to learn to pick up after themselves like, um, Aubrey and Mason, when they get done eating, I don't put their bowls and stuff in the sink. They do it on their own. That's them. Um, but that's just how we have, have, that's just how we have a productive day. If you want more details on our productive day or like a morning routine or anything like that, let me know and I will definitely do that. So comment down below and let me know. I'm just, my mind is scattered watching the kids because we're out in the yard. But I might even flip this around so I can look out in the yard. But I'm going to end this video and do the next one. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, bye.